Hi everyone. Don't mind my messy bed back there. That is a Christmas uh, bedspread, <laughs> quilt, whatever, um, because the other one's dirty and it needs to be washed and we haven't gone to the laundromat. We do not have a washer and dryer right now. We are bagging up. We are setting sails for a brighter sea. Sorry, I keep looking down. I keep forgetting that my camera is way up there. Anyway, so we, in case y'all don't know, because I'm not sure if I put a video up about it yet or not, we are moving. I know we just moved here in December of last year, but due to some really bad, well, not really bad, but some bad things that happened to us, um, Money-wise, we are losing our home. So, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, I could be upset about it. I could cry. I could be very depressed about it. But in the grand scheme of things, it is just a building. Um, if we could save it, we would have. We have tried everything. We tried to go fund me. That didn't work. Um, we have tried every organization that helps in these situations that we could come up with and nothing has worked. And so as of July 6th, we, um, well, on July 6th, we're supposed to go to court because not only are we losing our home, um, we live in a mobile home park and the lot rent is past due and we're also being evicted. So, you know. I'm not upset. It's just, I have a shirt that says, ain't nothing but a thing. And that's the philosophy I'm trying to live by. Um, we are moving to Knoxville. My husband has been offered a better job, making better money. And um, he will be gone a couple of nights a week. But in the grand scheme of things, that's a small price to pay for uh, better money and better better benefits and that kind of thing and better uh, opportunities and getting away from the, the uh, excuse me, trash vault that he works for now. So that being said, we are out of here. So we will be packing up um, over the next couple of weeks. He goes for um, orientation the 5th, 6th, and 7th of July, and we get to go with him. So it's just over in the next state, over in North Carolina, not far from here, a couple of hours from here, I guess. Um, but it's a little mini vacation. And then we will be staying in a extended stay hotel until we can save up some money for deposits and all of that stuff and we can find a good place to live so one more move after this coming one hopefully and we will land in our forever home this time and um i actually have a friend who's interested in buying our home so um that may work out for the best um, and another big announcement, um, not as big as that one, but I, I've got some ideas on some content that I'm going to cover when we move because things are going to be very tight and very different than they are here. Um, we are going from 928 square feet, which is not big. Our last house was a little over, um, or a little under 1300. So we're going, we're going from 1300, we went to 928 and now we're going to about, about 130 square feet. So, um, we're going very small, but the good news is, is we get to get rid of everything that we don't want, um, or that's cluttering up our lives and we get to start over again. And this time we're starting over on a better foot. We will be able to get on top of some things now. Um, and it's just going to be better. It's going to be mo better, mo better, mo better. So another huge announcement, and it may not be a big deal to you guys, but it is a big deal to me. I will no longer, at least for the foreseeable future, be doing true crime videos. There are two reasons. 
one is that there are so many people who do it so much better than I do. Um, and I will give you recommendations. If, if you come here for true crime or you're looking for true crime, I will give you three, four, probably five wonderful recommendations for true crime content. Um, they are my go-tos. They are the ones that I watch. And um, I think that they are the cream of the crop. The first one is Stephanie Harlow. And these are in no order. They're just in the order I co they come to my head. Um, Stephanie Harlow is Stephanie Harlow. It's S-T-E-P-H-A-N-I-E-H-A-R-L-O-W-E. -E. So Stephanie and Harlow end with an E. And she also has a channel with uh, Derek Lavasser, who is a former Rhode Island police officer. Um, and that channel is called Crime Weekly. Uh, another one of my absolute favorites. Um, another one is Annie Elise at 10 to Life. And Kendall Ray, K-E-N-D-A-L-L-R-A-E. -E. Um, two words, Kendall Ray. She is fabulous. And um, Annie Elise at 10, for life, 10 to Life. Oh, and my, my other absolute favorite, I just love this guy. I don't know his name, but I love him anyway. Um, but his channel is called This Is Monsters. Fabulous guy. Um, love his work. And then there's also one called Stranger Stories where they show police interrogations. Um, that's really interesting. So there's your true crime content. And if you like podcasts, there's one called Southern Fried True Crime, I think is what it's called. I will check on that and I will update it in the description. I'll put all those, I'll put links to all of those in the description too. But the other reason and probably, probably my, well, definitely my personal reason for no longer doing true crime is that it takes a ton of research. I had no idea how much research it would take. I had no, no idea how much time it would take. And I just right now do not have the time um, with everything that's going on with Zoe will be starting in public school this coming school year. Um, maybe once she's in school, and gone during the day, I will be able to devote more time to it. But right now, um, I just don't have the time to do it. Um, I d and honestly, I don't have, I have some, uh, they're not mental issues, but I have some issues with my brain where my, where I have ADHD with a, with a, um, Hyper focus is one of the uh, markers or whatever you call it. I can't think of the word. But anyway, one of one of my issues with the ADHD is the hyper hyper focus on things. I get hyper focused on things, which is one reason that it's difficult for me to read. Um, I love to read, but if I the way it works for me is if I see a word that is like the word queer. Now, queer used to mean like odd or strange or whatever. Um, now it has a totally different meaning. But when I see the word queer, my brain starts going off on a tangent while I'm trying to read. So it's just, it gets, it gets hard. Um, there's like, I'm sure y'all have seen the meme where it says something like my brain, the brain of a woman is like having 163 tabs open on your browser at all at one time. That's kind of how my brain works. Um, I also have an issue with not being able to pay attention, um, which is where the uh, attention deficit comes in because I will be, I'll work on a story for like five or 10 minutes and then I've got to do something else because my brain just can't handle it anymore. Um, which is very hard to do when you're trying to uh, research like the Atlanta child murders, which I've been promising to do. Um, I wish that I had the brain capacity to be able to do it, 
but I don't. I recognize my weaknesses. I, I recognize where I lack and um, I don't, I'm, I'm already bad about saying I'll do something and then not being able to do it in the time that I've given myself or in the time that someone else has given me. And so um, to keep that from becoming more exasperated, I don't think that's the right word. But anyway, to keep that from continuing, I have to just put a quash, a squash on. I, I, I have to put the kibosh. That's it. I have to put the kibosh on the whole um, true crime thing. I do have some ideas for my channel. Um, we're kind of going to be going in a different direction, but kind of still in the same direction. If that makes any sense at all, I don't, I don't think that it does, but, um, excuse me, my nose, it's just, I ate something today and it made my nose, it's just an allergy thing. Anyway, so that being said, I'm going to probably start a, like a cooking channel or cooking segment where I show what it's like to have to cook in a very small kitchen. Um, I think the, hopefully the extended stay that we will eventually get into right now, they don't have any openings, but we're hoping to get in there pretty soon. Um, they have a two burner stove, a small refrigerator, and of course a sink. Um, and we are, and I'm hoping I'm going to keep my instant pot and I'm going to keep my crock pot, my instant pot doubles as an air fryer so i'm going to keep that and i'm going to keep my crock pot and um that's pretty much it so if it can't and you know some of my pots and pans if it can't be cooked in those or in the microwave then it won't be cooked by me in our little apartment um so <laughs> that being said i'm thinking about starting a channel or a starting a segment where I cook in the air fryer and the instant pot pretty much exclusively um, and show, you know, how to get creative with things like that. And also what it's like living in a, you know, like a studio apartment, but with three people. Um, thankfully, I, I, I don't necessarily want my husband to be over the road and he's only going to be gone like maybe two nights a week, but this is a good time for that to happen um, because it's already going to be cramped enough where it's going to be us and two cats, probably a third one. Um, we're only allowed to, but we're going to sneak meatball in there too because we can't leave him behind. Um, but anyway, so that's the updates for now. I'm also going, I'm start, I've already started doing the research for um, a segment that I'm going to do on uh, television shows where I kind of do a deep dive into the television shows and the actors and that kind of thing who are on them. Um, and I'm starting with Three's Company. I have no idea why because <sighs> Three's Company gives me anxiety. It is one of those shows where, okay, I do not like shows or movies or situations that a big misunderstanding happens and then, you know, chaos ens ensues. Um, I, I, they make me very anxious. I don't like them. Um, but I'm, and so I'm starting with like the king of anxiety inducing TV shows for me, um, but it's the one that started the idea, I, and I honestly, I couldn't tell you how I came up with the idea, except yesterday I saw a music video by some country western group named Davison Brothers or something like that, and uh, Joyce DeWitt was in the video, and she, if you don't know, she played Janet Wood on... Um, on Three's Company. And so I think, I think that's where this started. I, I love John Ritter. Um, I thought he was a phenomenal actor. Um, but, uh, so I'm going to be doing like TV shows 
and or actors and actresses. Like I want to do a deep dive on Jim Carrey, even though, again, he's not one of my favorite actors, but um, I have found that when I watch shows and movies that he's done where he, where it was a dramatic role instead of a comedic role, I enjoyed it more. Um, I mean, and there's nothing wrong. There's nothing, it's nothing against Jim Carrey. I think he's a fine actor. Um, he's just not one of my favorites. Um, his type of comedy is not my favorite kind. I don't, I'm not real big on like step, slapstick comedy. Um, but I figured I would start with the shows and the people that I, you know, are not really, I don't gravitate towards, um, just to kind of dip my toe in. So I'm about halfway done with the research for Three's Company. So that will be coming up probably Monday. Um, I, I am going to continue to take weekends off, um, at least for the foreseeable future. And um, so, yeah, there's that. So that all being said, I hope that y'all continue to watch. I hope that you will invite your friends and your family and your neighbors and your neighbor's dog um, and the cats too, because they'll enjoy it. I did post a short today. I hope y'all enjoy that. Um, hopefully it got posted. I'm going to check and make sure because I had to do it from my phone. So we will see. But anyway, y'all have an awesome day. Awesome night. Be nice to each other and be nice to yourselves. And a little side note, we had a FedEx delivery person, woman, stop by a little while ago. She was stressed out to the max. She was she was late coming to pick up a package, which I, I didn't know that. If she hadn't told me that, I wouldn't have known it. But she was stressed out. She had never done a pickup before. And she was... She kept apologizing for not really knowing what she was doing in this in that way. And I said, you know what? It's just a job. Calm down. You're fine. Just, she said, she told me that when she pulled up, because she had, she had been through our mobile home park before, and it kept saying there was no, no road that's named what the road we live on. And she said, before I got out of the truck, I sat there and cried. And I said, don't ever do that for a job. It is just a job. Um, and I, I'm not like patting myself on the back for encouraging her or anything. That's not my purpose. Um, my point is, if you have the opportunity to be nice to somebody, to be extra nice to somebody, take that opportunity. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't cost you anything except maybe a few minutes. And it may be the boost that that person needs for the day um, to turn their day around. She had had an, an awful day. She kept getting lost. She kept getting stuck in traffic. She was running behind. And I just say, you know, life is too short to stress out over a job. Um, and it's proof that if you want proof that if you quit your job, you're boss is going to miss you, that that's not true. Um, case in point, my husband has worked for the same company for nine years and his boss couldn't care less that he's leaving. So, um, but we are thrilled that he's leaving and we are looking to new horizons and new adventures and fun things coming up for uh, us and our, for me and my family, for me and our family. So, but I just wanted to remind you that if you get a chance to be kind to someone, um, take that opportunity. It doesn't cost you a dime. And so I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say goodbye until next time. Bye.